What makes an audience a community? Today, I'd like to try to answer this question through analyzing the content of somewhat popular gaming creator Doug Doug and how I think he has made the most tight-knit community on Twitch. Let's break this down. First, member engagement. Think about the last awesome teacher you had in school. Chances are that the energy of the teacher coupled with their teaching style made you feel more inclined to participate. It's the same idea here. Elements of the creator's content, whether it be their personality, humor, or skill, are what drive audience engagement and cause viewers to engage through the chat. These messages are an effort to interact with the creator in real time and can range from really wholesome to really toxic. Now, this isn't any Anything revolutionary, but the dynamic becomes really interesting when the number of viewers increases into the thousands. For smaller streams, there is more of a direct connection between you and the creator, so you're more engaged because what you type has a higher likelihood of having a genuine impact on the stream. But when viewership surges and there are dozens of chat messages flooding in, it feels like you've almost lost that connection with the creator. Enter Doug Doug. Doug Doug regularly gets more than 2,000 viewers per stream. He, by all means, is not a small streamer, but still manages to have a strong level of connection with his viewers. This is for a few reasons. Number one, his content is inherently interactive. This is somewhat unique, but much of his content revolves around his audience having a direct impact on the outcome of the gaming challenge he's trying to achieve. Having a direct impact on something you're invested in makes you more likely to engage with it, which is why you'll see hundreds of people spamming the same four commands in a chat box in hopes that they contributed to something greater. Second, making trivial things interactive is a great way to build community. Sometimes Doug Doug releases videos where the challenge is hard enough as it is, so having Twitch chat control core game mechanics would end in catastrophic failure. In these events, Doug plays the game himself, but he creates an opportunity for active interaction. To show you what I mean, look at this video on Doug Doug's channel titled, Can You Bike to the Top of GTA with Only Your Voice? Here, using voice commands to move up to the top of the hill is extremely difficult on its own, and adding something for Twitch chat to influence it would make it 10 times worse. So what he does instead is he uses Twitch chat to brainstorm what he should call the commands and votes on the best ones. So though the chat didn't change the core mechanics, instead of saying right or left for a challenge, commands are now labeled door rightos or door leftos because that's what his chat proposed and voted on. Third, running jokes are key. Often Doug Doug's challenges start with a goal and someone sends a message that derails the entire focus of the challenge but makes it really funny. This initial joke gets called back to many times and becomes the new focus of the stream. This creates a culture and eventually it becomes a staple of his community. Now, this all sounds well and good, but how do you get to a stage where you can get the audience invested enough to actually participate? Storytelling. To sell the idea to your viewers, you can use stories. This is because stories with a well-defined beginning, middle, and a satisfying end get people really hooked. To make these stories more compelling, he adds a lot of weight to the challenges and increases stakes, whether that means spinning a punishment wheel or adding a million aeroplanes crashing into the side of a mountain. The ultimate effect of this though is that by the time you're near the end of the stream, you're on Doug's side, rooting for him, and that's what leads to engagement. Another thing Doug uses is music. To convey the tone of every scene of his Twitch streams, he uses different pieces, whether that be a very chill and laid-back melody, or an intense piece with drums and snares meant for the final boss battle. Through Doug Doug's storytelling ability and the techniques that he uses to engage his audience, he's created a very, very big community that is very tight-knit. But I think what truly makes it great is that it's managed to make a positive difference in the world. In Doug Doug's case, his community has made lots of contributions towards the Monterey Bay Aquarium, donating more than $15,000 for the facility. But it's not something that he does for image, no, it's an integrated part of the community. Every year they put on a Twitch stream to celebrate Rosa, the aquarium's oldest otter, and they have lots of activities and fun games they play. A lot of content creators do this, but this was one of the first times where I felt like I wasn't being being lectured to on a cause to contribute to and instead could be actively engaged with it. It's a tradition that's been going strong for two years now and I can't wait to see where it'll end up. 
thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. And I'm really glad you decided to spend some time with me learning about how Doug Doug created the greatest community on Twitch. Thanks.